Good morning, everybody. This is Regine Kennedy with uh, Homosexuals to the Rescue. Um, just about to run and take my shower, and I thought about uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and the story that Sodom and Gomorrah uh, that says that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of homosexual activity. Uh, and real quick, I'm going to give you two scriptures. It's not going to take long, but as homosexuals, we absolutely have to understand the scripture for those of us who have chosen Christianity as our faith. Uh, but we have to have, be able to stand on the ground that we need to stand on to know that we are uh, and have the same rights as every other Christian um, that's there. Uh, so we are not second class citizens, but it is time to understand scripture. If you were to go back to the history of Christianity, whew, it would probably scare you. But I am African American, it's part of our culture, and I am homosexual, born out of the will of God, uh, and I enjoy our faith as well. Uh, but coming to some understanding with that has been a little difficulty as we see churches right now moving through the ism and schism of that. But here's our story. If you go over to the Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter uh, 16, Ezekiel 16:49, it says, This is the reason I killed your sister Sodom. And I'm going to add lib a little bit. You guys go back and read it. Uh, but because she was prideful, idleness of mind she had no compassion for the poor and the needy oppressive pretty much this is why I destroyed your sister that's why it said that um, it had nothing to do with sexual activity that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah uh, now over in Sodom and Gomorrah if you take note then you'll know that everybody in the city was there uh, so dogs cats women children and in that time and day uh, sexual activity was oh boy it was out there and that's where orgies came from and they were getting ready to have an orgy yeah they said bring those two men out of the door so that we may know them not just the men everybody in the square wanted to know them they were going to have an orgy that's hedonistic heterosexual activity that we know that exists they have a whole show about it it comes to LA all over the the United States, I would imagine, I have no idea, but they have a hedonistic show. It comes to the L.A. Coliseum all of the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, I may have the wrong arena wrong, but it's in L.A. often. Uh, but that doesn't mean that homosexuals don't have hedonistic activity uh, because people, just, just people, they were having an orgy. Not homosexual sex. But that's not why Sodom was destroyed. The main reason was the oppression of the poor and the needy. So ask yourself, what are you doing in which to uh, take care of the poor and the needy? And are you prideful? Are you always oppressing someone? Read those scriptures for yourself and you'll see it for yourself. But have those things ground to stand on. It had nothing to do with homosexual activity. And even if it did, Jesus came and said what? all those that come to me I know mine they're all mine if they believe in me thou shalt be saved I want you to go to one more scripture that's Hebrews Hebrews 13 4 Hebrews 13 4 says marriage is honorable in all and the bed is undefiled well many states are opening up their cells to have homosexuals get married let's go get married no one should be in your bedroom anyway but if you could profess to be Christian there are some tenets that we should follow with our faith uh, and that is that no matter what we shouldn't be having sex but they tried to keep homosexuals from getting married why to keep us in the dark but now look at God moving and working I tell you homosexuals are going to be able to bring the church the kingdom of Christianity uh, where it should be with that love so you all uh, you have a mate we get married and let's get this stuff straight we're having time and know that Sodom and Gomorrah was not destroyed because of homosexual activity that God loves you just like you are and that you are not an abomination alright have a great day and know that I love you and God loves you just like you are